Hey, good morning. I hope everybody's doing well. And today I wanted to do something a little different. I've never uh, done this before, but I wanted to talk about and address Pastor Dina Coverstone's dream. It's been uh, going around, it's been going viral, and I highly recommend that you watch that dream and also take and heed the warnings from that dream. Now, the reason why I want to bring this up is when you are uh, into the video, Pastor Coverstone actually had uh, three dreams. And the first one he had in December of this past year came 100% true. Everything from uh, the pandemic to the wearing of the mask to the riots to everything that happened. And so it's been alarming to hear uh, other people within the Christian community uh, actually instructing people not to watch or not to share the video about these dreams and that is very alarming to me as you know on this channel we are waiting for the soon appearing of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that was the main goal of this channel equally important I am also sharing about the gospel of Jesus Christ about leading, introducing, showing the love of Jesus Christ that as many as possible will not only trust and believe in Him but give their life to Him, to surrender to Him, to, to be part of the body of Christ, to be part of His kingdom. And so when other Watchmen, when other communities start saying, do not share this, that it's a message of hopelessness, I, I completely disagree. I, I believe it's a message of hope. It is showing the body of Christ that we are to heed a warning that the Lord is actually showing people. Uh, the reason why I even, again, created this channel was because of the fact that I was awoken by a dream that the Lord showed me about the rapture of the church. And then I had multiple dreams to follow about the tribulation. And so just to touch again in regards to Pastor Dana Coverstone's dream, the first dream was about January through June basically, or actually March through June. And again, everything came true. Every single thing that the Lord showed him came to pass. He has proof that he received this dream in December. He went before uh, people within his congregation and shared the dream. And he kind of just sat and watched and waited to see what would happen. And sure enough, it came to pass. Then he had two more dreams. If I'm not mistaken, and I could be wrong, I apologize if I am, but again, I encourage you to go watch the video in regards to this, these dreams. But I believe the next dream was the time frame from September to November. And then the third dream is what's going to happen, at least uh, we presume what's going to happen, in November. And then if you or to see what's happening in the spirit, if you look at the timeline in which we are in, those that watch and listen to this channel know that I'm completely convinced that we are living in, in the end days, that we are living, that the dispensation of grace is about to end, the church age is gonna to come to a close, and then the soon rapture of the church that is called out throughout scripture will soon take place. 
And the Lord is warning his people. The Lord is, the Lord is bringing a message to his people because he loves us. So when I hear a pastor or somebody within the body of Christ saying this is a message of hopelessness, I, I completely disagree with that. This is a message of hope. Our faith is in Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone, no matter what we go through. And I still believe that we're going to probably go through some trials before the rapture of the church happens and then the tribulation starts. The Lord loves us so much, he is trying to warn us in every way he can. He's warned us through dreams. He has warned us through signs through in the heavens. He has warned us through earthquakes, through floods. He's warned us through famines. He's warned us through every single thing that is called out in Scripture. So no, no, my friends. I believe this is, in fact, a message from the Lord. One of the things you've got to take away from this is the very first dream came 100% true. I know that people are trying to persuade others that, oh, you know what, uh, the next two are probably not, and they, they try to interpret the dreams. Well, the thing I, I take away from this is the first dream was completely true. It all came to pass. That in itself is a big warning to say, hey, look, these next two, next two dreams are more than likely going to come to pass just as was mentioned in Pastor Dana Coverstone's videos. Now, obviously, and I'm not, I'm not going to uh, be presumptuous. Obviously, we need to take this before the Lord. We need to search our own heart of hearts. But I do know that the Lord has been warning. He warned me through dreams. He's warned many through dreams about things that are taking place right now in the times in which we live. Our hour is near. The Lord will be appearing very soon to take those who truly and honestly love him with him. I'm not coming against the uh, individual or I, I can't even remember the other other video. I'm not even going to bother linking that one because that is something you have to search for yourself. I, I Again, I believe this is 100% the Lord uh, about this dream. We've got to take heed when you get three dreams and the first one came 100% to pass. That is a major warning in itself. And again, if you go and watch these dreams, it's going to escalate. Some, some things are going to happen uh, over the next few months that aren't that great for those who do not know Christ. But for those who do know him, those who are sealed in him, those who love him, those who are longing and waiting for his return, this is a message of hope. This is a, this is a message. This is our, our blessed hope. Showing us that he is returning soon. Warning us to, to sound the alarm to those around us. There are still many within the church, within the body of Christ, who have their head in the sand about the days in which we live. They're completely clueless. They're going around wearing their masks, just joining in with what the world has to offer them. And I ask you, please keep, go before the Lord in prayer, in supplication, in fasting if you need to, but that your eyes will be open to these times. This is no, we are well beyond the, we are, we are well past the time of just playing church. This is serious. This is extremely serious. It is still, there's a good likelihood that as, as a body of Christ, that we will still have to go through some trials. It, it does say throughout scripture that we will see trials and tribulations in our walk with Christ. When the great tribulation starts, I believe it is going to be initiated by the rapture of the church, by the body of Christ being caught up as called out. I don't even know why there's still arguments about this. The body of Christ, those who truly love him, do not, that do not want any part of this world, are going to be caught up as called out in 1 Thessalonians. And if you truly study scripture, it is mentioned throughout scripture, but 
I encourage you to study and look for these things yourself. But again, to address the video that Dana Coverstone put out in regards to his dreams, I strongly encourage that you look those up and you watch them. There are many throughout the Watchman community who have, who, who have had dreams about the things that are soon to come. We are living in perilous times. To think that our world is to go or is going to go back to the way it was, I don't I don't believe it's going to. Those who are trying to get us under the umbrella of a one world government, a Luciferian system of control, of socialism, of communism. They are not going to want to bring us back to where we were before. And every step from here on out has got to be worse. I'm not a doom and gloom guy. I believe 100% and wholly in the, in, in the gospel of Jesus Christ and in my Savior. But we cannot put our heads in the sand, see every warning that we have been given, and just play it off like nothing is happening. Folks, we are living in the end times. When you look at the biblical timeline of Israel, we are in those days. We are in the last days. Again, please go back and watch Pastor Dana Coverstone's dream, dreams about what took place from March through June that he got in December of last year, in December 2019, and then watch what's going to happen soon thereafter. Again, this it is. I'm not going to presume that everything he said is 100% accurate, but the fact the Lord came to him, gave him a dream, and then the first dream came 100% accurately true is a warning within itself. I would take heed about the next two dreams that he had, that he addresses in those, in that video. And prepare yourself. I would prepare. We may have to go through some tough, tough times before the rapture of the church, but we are, we are not in the tribulation. Understand that. It says it is the worst times throughout human history. And I'm sure if you were to talk to people who were just living during World War II, they would tell you how bad it was. And yet, Scripture tells us it is the worst times of human history. So we are not in the Great Tribulation yet. Again, I believe that the rapture of the church, the harpazo, the catching away, is what will initiate the tribulation. The restrainer, the Holy Spirit, will be removed off the earth. And lawlessness will become rampant. The man of perdition, the Antichrist, will come to power. And just wait for what is next. Please, heed this warning. If you do not know the love and saving grace of Jesus Christ, I just ask you to please go to him, call out to him. He loves you. He's sending you warnings in so many different ways. Those who are left behind are going to have to endure some terrible times. And those who die outside of the body of Christ, those who die outside of the knowledge of saving grace, the knowledge of Jesus Christ's love, the acceptance of the Holy Spirit, will die in their sin. And they'll spend eternity in hell. And that's just scripture. That's not me. That is scripture place today. Surrender, commit your life to Jesus Christ. He loves you. He wants you with him forever. He does not want you to endure the tribulation. He does not want you to burn in the lake of fire forever. He wants you to be with him in heaven. He made a way. His finished work on the cross. Please study these things. Go to the Lord. Cry out to him. Ask him to be your Lord. Ask him to be your Savior. Surrender your sins to him. Have a blessed day, guys. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.